Yo, it's the M-O-P-O-W-E-R-Z and we are B-A-C-K-A-G-A-I-N on another fantastic sucker free summer day. And if this is your first time watching the M-O-P-O-W-E-R-Z, I ask that you share the information with relatives, friends, co-workers, anyone that you come to contact with. It is a magnificent way to jumpstart your conversation. And today's conversation just happens to be a very sad one. Why is it sad, Mo? Because 70 people got shot and 12 of them are dead here in Chicago over the weekend. When will the madness stop? Are you ready to stop living in the war zone? Are you ready to stop living in the war zone? According to the top cop here in Chicago, Superintendent Brown, he said that the police strategy that they are using is working. They are arresting violent offenders, but guess what? The courts are releasing them back into those communities and neighborhood to do more violence. He said they're doing everything possible that they can do. And he even said, you got police that are being shot at right now. People are shooting at the police. Well, what do you expect? You all have been killing people at random for how long? How long have police just been up and killing unarmed black men? I'm just saying. Now that has come back to hunt you and law enforcement force here in Chicago. It is sad, you all. It is sad. He said they are, he said that they are removing them criminals from the streets, but the courts are letting them back out. Now, according to the Chicago Sun-Times and Superintendent Brown, and he specifically said this information is not coming from him because he got it too from the same source that I'm about to tell you, which is the Chicago Tribune. And what did the Chicago Tribune say? The Chicago Tribune said that 90 people who have committed murder here in Chicago is home on an ankle bracelet. What? And those people who are being rearrested on ankle bracelet have gun felony cases. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Do your homework on that. He said, don't blame me. Don't blame the police force. Blame the courts. Chicago has 22 police districts. You have the Austin District, the Gresham District, the Inglewood District, Humboldt Park District, uh, East Garfield, and West Garfield, those six districts there are the worst for gun violence. They are known for doing what? Cutting people TVs off, huh? And people just want to come outside and play and, and chill out. No, 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 no. Not in Chicago, no. You would get shot and killed like that 17 year old boy did in the backyard. Or was he 15? It was a 17 year old boy and a 15 year old boy standing in their backyard. Somebody drove up and one shot in the chest and one shot in the stomach. The one shot in the chest pronounced dead when he got to the hospital. Another man standing on the sidewalk on North Avenue in Moody with a bunch of people. A car roll up, cut his TV off. And you mean to tell me nobody can't find these people? With all of the cameras that's on the west side of Chicago and on the south side of Chicago, all of these you know, hood, hood cameras, the police cameras, and you mean to tell me that you can't catch these people? Come on, come on. What are we gonna do about this violence, Chicago? People are leaving Chicago, and if you haven't left Chicago, or if you have no plans to leave Chicago, you just may be dead this summer for no reason at all. Age, we don't discriminate against age, okay? These people here in Chicago do not discriminate against age. They will kill your baby. Do you hear me? They will kill your baby in your car. In your car. Here in Chicago. People ask me, they say, Mo, you be everywhere. Yep. Away from Chicago. Away from Chicago. Because they might do what? Cut my TV off. Caught in the wrong place at the wrong time. Didn't do anything. Just minding my business. Driving my car going into a store, going into a shopping mall, going to a movie theater, going to my grandmother's house, going to my mother's house. I can get my TV cut off. It is outrageous out here, you all. If you are tired of living in the war zone, get out of Chicago. When you are tired of living in the war zone, you should get out of Chicago. I don't care. Do as Malcolm says, by any means necessary. By any means necessary, huh? Now, if I was to commit a murder, you think they'll let me out on an ankle monitor to go home? 
I'm just saying. The whole criminal justice system is broken from the people who run it down to the very same people who commit the offenses. I'm just saying. From the people at the top all the way down to the bottom. If you have a system that is ran by corrupt people, what would the citizens of that city be like? Corrupt, because they're being ran by corrupt people. This is just not in Chicago, it's all over America. It's all over America. And you wonder why people are going nuts. And you wonder why people are going nuts. It's what people are going through socially here. Social engineering, social engineering and the purge and the purge the purge is real it's right in your face it's not just a movie it's in 3d full effect right in your face and if you're not careful out there you two just may do what get the tv cut off to be aware is to be alive you all to be aware is to be alive nowhere is safe in america especially here in chicago so if you're thinking about coming to chicago you just may want to stay where you at because it is dangerous out H-E-R-E, -E, period. Put that in your roller decks and smoke it. It's your brother, the M-O-P-O-W-E-R-Z, where knowledge is power. Remember, it is your third eye that makes you shine like jewelry. And if you haven't checked out any of the videos on this channel, by all means, press the subscribe button and check the videos out below. Peace out.